If you own a fast 3D printer and you want to print really fast, you definitely want to check it out our new filament in the series of the filament PLAHS, which stands for high speed. And I can guarantee you that it prints really fast without losing details. You don't believe me, do you? It can go fast as this. Ta-da! Okay, okay, I'm joking, but this was printed with our The Filament PLAHS, and it only took 21 hours. I'm back, but I think Spidey looks better right there. Alright, this video is not gonna be as longer as the other one, I assure you that, but stay tuned because it's gonna be very interesting. Welcome back, my name is Alessio and this is Spectrum Filament. If you're not subscribed, please do to consider so. What do we have today on the menu? Well, we have this amazing filament right here, the filament PLAHS. As a 3D printing enthusiast myself, I always try to find filaments that print fast, at least as fast as the printer can go, because otherwise why would I have a printer that can go 600 mm per second but cannot print it because the filament won't allow it. So that's where our filament comes into play. We're gonna compare a couple of prints with the Spectrum Man, of course, we have plenty of them right here, and we're gonna print it with Amazon PLA Basic, Bamboo Lab PLA Basic, and then of course the Filament PLA HS. For this project we're gonna print it with Bamboo Lab P1S and Bamboo Lab A1. And I'll make sure that for next week we're gonna have profiles to download on our website, especially for the P1S and the A1. In fact, this is why I have this calibration prints right here, because I did calibrate our filament properly. It took me, I would say, four or six hours just to make sure it was perfectly calibrated, and you will see the result in a second. The variables we're using for this project on the Bamboo Lab P1S are the same for all the prints. The default 0.2 profile for all of them, the only thing that changes is literally the filament. We have the Amazon PLA Basic, the Bamboo Lab PLA Basic and the filament PLA HS. Before we jump right in into the comparison, I'm just gonna show you some time lapses. On the left we have a generic PLA we got from Amazon. In the middle we have a Bamboo Lab PLA Basic. And on the right we have our The Filament PLA HS. From afar the difference is not that noticeable. But if we get close enough we can see a lot of differences especially between the generic PLA from Amazon and the Bamboo Lab PLA Basic and again from the generic PLA from Amazon and our PLA HS. So we're not comparing only time and speed, but also detail preservation. Talking about time, it's time we get close and see all the details. First up is this Amazon Green PLA Basic. At closer inspection, we can see we have a lot of problems with overhangs, under extrusion and over extrusion, and generally really bad surface quality. You can see right here, and especially here on the arms, the surface is not really smooth. And looking at the top surface, it's all bubbly, a lot of blemishes. The surface is not even and there's like spots here and there. And overall, it's pretty bad. The back side right here where the hairline meets, it's really messed up as you can see right here. The layer lines are not consistent whatsoever. However, the logo is still visible and no complaints there. Second up is the Bamboo Lab PLA Basic. And we all know there's no much to complain about this filament, of course, because it's the same brand as the 3D printer. Overall, the print has no issues whatsoever. It's really, really smooth all around, consistent everywhere. Overhangs are perfect here and at the back as well. As for where the airline meets, I have no complaints whatsoever. Top surface, absolutely flawless. There's nothing in there, no blemishes. Every layer is fine, as you can see. And you can see the logo really well as well. I would say this is a really nice surface, no blemishes, no bubble, no under extrusion, no over extrusion. And last but not least we have our The Filament PLA HS. And I have no complaint whatsoever, I would say that compares pretty much exactly the same as the Bamboo Lab PLA Basic. Uh, I'm trying to find defects but the overhangs are fine, there is nothing in there absolutely perfect. The back pretty much the same, 
there's nothing in there and where the airline meets nothing it's just smooth perfection the face a lot of details in there and on the shoes as well and the logo as well pretty much perfect but now let's take a look at the same filament but this time with another color because yellow it's so bright it's really hard to see details so with the red one instead we can actually see a little bit more details and once again I don't see any imperfection even compared to the Bamboo Lab one not to mention there's nothing to compare from the Amazon PLA basic these were printed with the same 3D printer a Bamboo Lab P1S using the default 0.2 profile for all of them printing time for Amazon PLA basic 1 hour and 20 minutes 54 minutes and 38 seconds for the Bamboo Lab PLA basic and I'm really happy to say we have the winner, it's our The Filament PLA HS with 53 minutes and 52 seconds. And if you don't have a Bamboo Lab P1S but instead you have a Bamboo Lab A1, this was printed with the same filament, different color, but with a Bamboo Lab A1. And the print time was 1 hour and 11 minutes. And just for fun, I printed this one at 25% scale on the Bamboo Lab A1. And it turned out great considering that we're using a 0.4 nozzle the details are still really really great and i assure you this one is really really tiny and again i don't see any problems with the overhangs or the airline or the logo the details are brilliant i'm probably overlaying some close-up photos anyways so yeah this was really fun to make since i printed a really small one i thought why not printing a really big one and if i'm not mistaken this was 125 percent scale or 150 percent scale i don't remember clearly but the result speaks for itself the details are amazing especially around the logo where the shoes the shoelaces i don't know if you can see the details but they are brilliant and the bigger the better because no problem with the overhangs of course we have the seam line on the back but put it at random was just creating a lot of spots here and there and i didn't like it but uh, yeah all right before final thoughts i just want to point out prices the amazon pla basic goes for 15 euros but you know exactly why you're paying 15 euros we saw that already for the bamboo lab pla basic it's a really well mainstream filament and it goes for 23 euros on the bamboo lab store and finally, from Spectrum Filaments, we have the Filament PLA HS. There is not really much to say except that you're going to save 5 euros per spool and still having really, really high speed and perfect details and quality. And just a side note, if you're wondering how I shot the over the table clips, well, I used this custom slider that you can see all around my desk and you can see it right here in this video. Please do check it out because there is a discount on a really, really, really cool filament. Obviously, the link for the filament PLAHS is going to be in the description down below. A bonus tip that I want to give is to make sure that you do calibrate your filaments. No matter what the filament is, no matter what the brand is, no matter what the printer brand is, do calibrate your filament because you're going to get so much benefit from it. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, leave a like and comment down below if you have any suggestions or just questions. My name is Alessio and this is Spectrum Filaments and I'll see you very soon in the next video.